Okay, well, I got the pump running. And as you can see, it goes up. And I don't know if you can see that. What I'm doing right now is uh, drying some biodiesel. Had some water in it. I heated it up to uh, about 135, 140 degrees. Poured it back into the processor. Basically, right now it's just doing a little exposure to uh, some air and uh, getting some of that water removed from it. You can see, that's basically how the mixing occurs as well. And pretty simple little system. The drain here, as you can see, shut off nice and easy. Travels down right now, it's in the circulation mode. This first valve is to shut this off and isolate it during the separation of the glycerin, the glycerol. Traveling down this T, oops, excuse me there. This first T is the meth oxide introduction. Right now it's in the off position, but once the carboy is connected and ready to go with the meth oxide, I just turn that on and it mixes in into the flow, sucks it down and off she goes. This next one here is the, uh, eventually will be my waste vegetable oil transfer pump or valve. Basically, I'll have a hose coming out of here going to my waste filtered waste vegetable oil and when I want to put it into the processor I flip the switch turn the pump on and it's going to suck it in so uh, less manual labor and off she goes into the pump now the one modification I'm going to make to the system is here I'm going to put a T with a shutoff valve here and a shutoff valve going here the reason for that will be when I'm ready to transfer the completed biodiesel I'll be able to use the pump again and turn off the valve that would be here, turn the valve on here, and it would transfer it into my storage container. Um, so that's pretty much about the last thing I really need to add to this to make it a complete system. Um, that's about it. So again, there's the oil.